All right, now to gas prices. Still climbing. For the first time ever, the average price for a gallon of gas in LA County has now passed six bucks. Yes, it's six dollars and one cent today, more than two dollars compared to a year ago. In Orange and Ventura counties, it's $5.97 and it's $5.89 in the Inland Empire. Well, I think we all have a little sticker <laughs> shock this morning. Oh, indeed. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at Sam's Club in Long Beach, where drivers will be looking for deals. Cara, last time you were out there, you had to dodge cars because they were honking. Really <laughs> eager to get those deals. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was an El Monte here a little bit calmer, at least at this hour. We are talking about the 28th consecutive increase in gas prices. That's what got us here uh, pretty crazy. But here prices a little bit cheaper this morning, 534 a gallon kind of crazy. We're talking about that as cheaper, but you can see folks are already lining up here this morning. They opened up at 5 a.m. Ernesto here was the very first in line this morning. Uh, we saw you about 430. Yeah. How early did you actually get here and, and why did you come so early? So it's about, about this hour because really, really busy right here sometimes. Yeah, and how much does the cheaper prices help you when it comes to filling up your tank? Within, with, within a dollar, maybe sometimes 50, 80 cents make the difference. Well, thanks so much for stopping and chatting with us this morning. I know you just filled up, so we'll let him get on his way. But take a look at this because these expensive gas prices are causing some folks to take some extraordinary measures. Uh, stations, of course, selling gas for well above $6 an average. Uh, you got the cheaper prices, the higher prices, and CHP officers across the state say many people are pushing their luck as they try to make it to a cheaper gas spot or try to stretch out the gas in their tanks. They've noticed this trend, more people calling for help after actually running out of gas. One CHP officer says if you're driving on E to save money, that strategy could backfire. Don't push it. Don't say, I know my car when it's on E, I have five more miles. Just get yourself to the gas station. $70 for the tow fee, a $60 call out fee in addition to the gas. Now, some areas do have freeway service patrol trucks that will help stranded drivers but uh, for free, but those only work certain times of day. So what should drivers do if they run out of gas? Well, the CHP says don't get out and try and push your car or walk on the side of the road to a gas station. The best thing you can do at that point is to call 911 for help. Back here live, of course, you don't want to get to that point, so try and plan ahead. Uh, what can we say? <laughs> the price is still going up. Six bucks for is the average right now for a gallon of regular unleaded. Yeah, Cara, I think the best we can do is just try to conserve, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Cara Finstrom.